What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. This uh, this video was requested by one of my subscribers. They wanted me to do a reaction to Larry Lawton. Uh, Larry Lawton's a big prison channel. I guess he was like a jewel thief or something back in the days. I don't know. He went to prison. I don't know where he went to prison. But uh, he, has an, he has one of those East Coast accents. So he's over there somewhere. Uh, this video is called XCon Reveals How to Make Shanks in Prison. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, I watched the video and, um, we're going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to go through it with you. So, uh, shout out to Larry Lawton. I don't even know if he has his stuff copyrighted, if I'm going to be able to do a reaction, release this reaction, but we're going to do it. Let's go. Do a great video. I'm going to be making three different types of weapons that were in prison. Now, I'm a professional and don't do this at home. Okay, remember he said he's a professional. Don't try this at home. He's right. Don't try to make this stuff at home because uh, even though he says he's a professional, he's an ex-con, so he is an ex-con, um, the type of weapons that he's going to make are very unprofessional. At least as far as California standards of weaponry. But a weapon is a weapon, I guess. Only if you go to prison. And don't go to prison. Make good choices, people. Absolutely. You know I do this as an educational uh, method. The first shank or prison weapon I'm going to make is the first thing I learned in prison when I was a 17-year-old kid. It is a razor comb. And you're going to see exactly how I make a razor comb in prison. That's that's doesn't that sound like a James Bond thing or Austin Powers thing? Razor comb. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> you're on the yard and a bottle pulls out a comb. Let's see how dangerous it is though. Let's let's check him out. Come on, Larry. And a quick story while I'm making oh, this. Damn. You know, sadly. In prison, you get very hyped up. You un you understand what's going on, mm. and for the first while you're in prison, you're scared. I don't care mm. who you are. And I, I don't even know if I could call it scared, but you're on edge. You're ready to do things. You have to defend yourself. And when you're in maximum security prisons like I was, uh, it's even a different level. So I want you to understand that. So this first thing I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how we used to get the razors to do what we're going to do, and how to make a razor comb to defend yourself. That's what we did in prison, and that's the first one we're going to do. So, let's start out right quick. Right away, we're going to do this. First thing you got to know is in prison, <laughs> you would get a razor blade to shave. Yeah. Even in the hole, when you're in special housing, you're at the shoe, they would actually give you a razor every twice a week, and they'd say you get the razor. Now, what they would do is issue you the razor, open the shoe door, pass the razor through, give it to you, you have to give it back, the guard is going to then make sure that it has a razor in it, and then when they do that, you, they give it back so they, you don't have any weapons, you don't have a razor. This is in the hole now. Um, Ad Sags don't all have razors. They have clippers in California, unless they change things. But yes, in the shoe, uh, there's, you know, California has three shoes. In the shoe, you are going to be issued a razor at shower time. But uh, let me see. Now, on the yard, you did have a razor to shave, so it was a little bit easy to get that stuff. Razors were pretty much common on the, on the, the yard. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean you were allowed to disassemble a razor. wasn't mean allowed you can make a weapon out of any, because you can't. You're going to go to the hole. Once you alter something, uh, that, that alone is an infraction in the prison rules. Out here, you wouldn't, they, I mean, we have razors on, in the cell to sharpen pencils and shit, cut paper and stuff. If the cop wants to be a dick, they'll write you a 115 for uh, manufacturing or, or, or some, I don't know, some, some stupid stuff. But normally, if, if it's a razor, there's no handle on it, anything like that. And they can see the, 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 what you're using. They can tell what you're using it for and where you have it. It's in the open. Normally out here, they, they won't even fuck with you. They'll just throw them away. Um, but you could have a dick cop that's going to say, yeah, that's a, that's a weapon and send you the hole. But 
out here, there's always so much stuff going on that, you know, those ad sake beds are, are very precious to the COs and they're not going to waste it on somebody for a razor blade like that. So you'd get a razor. First of all, you had combs. Everybody had a regular comb. So this is just a regular little comb. When I had hair, now I have hair for you. But when you had hair, matter of fact, I should start using this. Yeah. I like the beard. Okay, so you have that. You have your stuff. Now here's what we used to do. First of all, you get a razor, a big razor. You take it like here. Now this is just a razor, so you can see it. It's just a razor blade in it. You can see it, everybody, right? Now, you can see it again. So what you do is you take off the backs. There's little things right here. There's so he's doing it the hard way. Uh, there are the little the little things in the back that you can cut. Um, you can use, you know, you can cut those off. But those state razors are flimsy. You can actually, um, you know how you when you were a kid and you would play, um, um, what that pencil fight? You could do that with the razor. You could actually get that razor, turn it sideways, and go like that a few times, and it'll pop off on its own. So you don't need to be wasting your. It, it takes longer to try to cut those little things off, if, and when you could just tap it a few times, flip it, tap it again, and it'll pop right out. The razor will come out on its own uh, at the same time, usually. There's a little thing right on the bottom and you can take that off and you could use different weapons and you take this off and then you have a razor. So this is what a you razor. use. Now, I'm gonna be making a razor comb with this so it's gonna be a little bit different, but this is, these are valuable. And I'll tell you what you use it for. It's not just a weapon, people. It's how you sharpen a pencil. Sharpen. If you, how are you gonna sharpen a pencil? Yes, yeah, you do it on a concrete wall. Never. Get some. He said you could sharpen it on a concrete wall. That is your cell. Not only is it your cell, it's a cell that it's a cell that you are sharing with another man uh, who is doing a whole lot of time, and you are not going to be scraping no lead and leaving marks all over. I, I I've seen cells that were as as immaculate as they could be. You know, people will buy wax. People will make their own black paint most of the time with soot and wax. Uh, do uh, their team logos, wax it on the floor. Put a, I mean, people take their time, man. And, and out here, you know, you know, when you see movies and you see how the cells are all, you know, gray and ugly, out here, you know, that's your path. So you're going to make it as bomb, as Bonnaroo as you can. Um, damn sure, man, somebody comes in and, and decides they need to sharpen the pencil on the wall. That guy's going to have a problem. Something sharp. You know, you use razor blades for more things than you think. Uh, whether it's cutting uh, something off of a cloth, making a different kind of shirt, doing something of that nature. You do a lot of different things with a razor blade. Now, what did I do? Okay, now I always had razor blades, so when the guard came back, mm. this guy takes I made a long it. Time. What you would do is you would get a magazine. First thing you do is you have your razor. Now you take it out. You get razor. magazines. Obviously, I cut out that razor right there. So here it is, your razor. So all you do is you cut something out in the same color, a gloss. Usually, you get a magazine, you get the gloss. So you you have your razor in the look. I'm not. It, it, I'm only gonna say this because it's a razor, so it's not giving up game, right? Right. So he's talking about. I. I this is what he's talking about. He's cutting out a gray color from the magazine to stick in the in the razor that in the in the handle, right? And then he's gonna close it back up so he can turn it back in, right? Um. And the cop's going to look and he's going to see, oh, there's still a razor in there. But it's not the same color as the razor. When um, you can use a potato chip bag. You know how the potato chip bags, the insides, uh, it's like aluminum. You would just cut that and it's going to have the same shine and everything as a razor. Um, now, in Pelican Bay Shoe, they wouldn't give you your chips in those bags. Um, so you wouldn't be able to do that. Maybe maybe people did do that uh, magazine thing. But 
razors aren't like razors aren't that serious, you know. That's not really a weapon. Uh, I don't know. We'll get to it. Let me see. I want to see his uh, Inspector Gadget knife. The reason you did that is so when you give the guard back the razor, the razor. Here. So it looks like there's a razor <gasps> in here, and you just give is it back a... to him. He looks at the razor, and he dumps it in a bag. He carries a bag around with him, takes yeah, it in, man, man. dumps it in. And this is button. Now, this is the razor. Yeah, who to that? So the guard sees that there's a razor in there. That's all he cares about. Yeah. He so. sees the gloss. It's the gloss on the paper that gets it good. Yeah, it gets and it And then, good. to hide, you always hide your razors. Everybody had a, razors are pretty easy to hide, obviously. I would hide my razor in a magazine. I would get, and I would just get the magazine like this. And there's the razor. The razor. And I would do like that. And here's my, my magazine, you know, magazine and a razor. And people get magazines in prison all the time. So now I have my razor. What do I do? I get a comb. You start, and this takes a lot of time, but it's normal. You start doing this, and you keep you keep taking your razor. And you, so you, you see the grooves already in there. He's just showing you. Going like this. See what I'm doing, everyone? And I'm taking that razor. I'm putting it in there, and I'm cutting it. And look at that. I am getting it. I am getting it down pat. See, I am actually making this in a... I'm making a groove. <laughs> I'm making a groove with a razor in the Ooh, he's making a groove, guys. And I'll tell you, see, this is a, a weapon that's not, it's not, you know, we used to not call this a lethal weapon. Anything it's can be lethal. Absolutely not a lethal weapon. Because when I make it, you'll see what I mean when I demonstrate how to use the weapon. And I actually used one of these. I'm mm. not proud of what I had to do, but I did do things to save my life. Yeah. So you take your razor, like I'm doing, and you cut this. Then. You take your razor and you you put the razor in the top like this. And then what you would do now with fire, you could do it a lot of different ways. Uh, it, it's great because when you have uh, in, in on the yard. By the way, Crooked Diamond is his is uh larry lawton's uh cigar cigar brand so he's gonna puff on this cigar right now uh it's apparently a part of the story i guess a part we don't understand whoa look at how i, I always pause them in the in the funny faces huh seeing gators all right you could go to the kitchen you know the kitchen guys or uh you know you, you make a burner you can actually make a burner out of toilet paper and uh, you can do that as well. So I would take this then, and you can then take matches or any flame that you make. You can take. I'm gonna take two matches. Imagine, I mean, yeah, he's making it longer because he's talking, he's telling us stuff, he's lighting a cigar and stuff. But imagine taking that much time to make such a flimsy weapon. <laughs> It's going to probably get you beat up. You're, you are, razors do make people bleed. That's one thing. They will make you bleed. They'll leave an ugly scar on you. But you now have one hand, and you're probably going to use your dominant hand. Most people do. Um, you're going to use your dominant hand and put a flimsy weapon in it and attack a man that's going to have two hands and probably a knife on him. Doesn't seem like a, a smart a smart way to engage somebody in battle, but, you know, this is, this is for educational purposes. But think about it. Hopefully you never have to go to prison. You never find yourself behind them walls. But if you do, <laughs> I promise you this is not the weapon that you want to use. You never want to have a weak weapon in your dominant hand. You don't know what the other guy has. Heat this right here. Okay. Wow. You do not have to heat it a lot. Yeah, you don't have to heat it a lot. All you're doing <laughs> is you. This is plastic. You probably well, dulled up the razor with that heat. That's how flimsy that right weapon here. is. And then I'm taking another object. Oh my god! All the tools you got to use. Pushing it together. Oh yeah. And you're melting. 
you are literally melting that razor blade into that uh, thing so it does not come out. And it gets come out. As you can see, it's charred. You see how black it gets? Oh, yeah, yeah, we see that. It's age. charred. Oh, my God. So it's, it's dark. It's charred, guys. So you can barely see it. Barely. This barely. is not a piece of gloss you're seeing sticking out. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is a razor blade. And what do you do with a razor blade? You can now. Yeah, he thought twice about that one, baby. Oh it. my God. So if a fucking magazine ever attacks you, you're ready. But don't cut the cover. You see that? He was like, I better not cut the cover. It might break. <laughs> This is a weapon. Gee, God, let's see. As you can see, look. It's a ra oh, it's a, yeah, okay. It does, if it gets weak, you just got to go push it. And oh actually, my God, no way. let it uh, harden. No, when you what you, he, okay, so hold on. It started coming loose, and he said, actually, I should have let it harden. No, Larry Lawton, you should have never made that. <laughs> it's one single razor blade at that. Um, that that weapon is not going to go through clothing. That would get caught in clothing and probably rip out of the, the mastermind uh, comb handle. <laughs> um, that thing is going to be to be used on where there's no uh, fabric. Um, and again, it's it's. I'll tell you this, around 1996, word had come down in uh, California prisons from Pelican Bay. And it was basically this, razor blades. If you were from a uh, Mexican from Southern California, you used a, a, a razor blade on somebody, you were going to get whacked. Because it was kind of considered a PC move. That you're just trying to make a guy bleed, have the cops see it and get him off the yard. You're not really trying to hurt somebody. So when I see something like this, and there's no disrespect to this, man. You know, and, and, and people that use, you know, that are unfortunately in prison and, you know, they feel like they need to make a weapon and they're not knowledgeable enough and how to make weapons, then maybe this is what they, they use. But, you know, I would think even then you would be smart enough to know where if you're going to have to use a razor, then go ahead and stack about eight to ten razors together. And then you're able to cut, you know, deep and hurt somebody. Uh, I'm not into violence or anything like that, but. I promise you that weapon right there will get somebody whooped. Unless you run up on somebody who's a coward, that they're going to realize, they're going to see what it is, and they're going to be like, no, 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 no. I'm going to whoop your ass. So there's that one. I might have to skip. I might have to skip around because, you know, it takes a long time to get where we want to get with this guy. The uh, plastic hardened around the blade. Oh, dear Lord. It, it, it's good. And then... It's good. You have this, you carry it in your pocket. In your jumpsuit, you actually have a, uh, a pocket in a jumpsuit in county jail. Or even, I made these in county jail. I learned how to make these in a county jail. In fact, you used to take <clears throat> razor blades like this and put them in your tongue, in your, in, in your, in your cheek. And it worked better if you put them here. Place place. To. But now you have this razor blade, and if you want to mess with someone, you're just whoosh. Oh, look at the skill. And I cut a man at this. Blood went all over his shirt. That is not going to cut through nobody's shirt. I'm not. Listen, shout out to Larry Lawton, man. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe the razors are just different wherever he's at. But uh, I, I don't see that flimsy razor. Those razors get caught on, on, on clothing. Um. But hey, you know, he cut the guy and his shirt was full of blood. And I find out later that this man was actually there to give me a Bible. Now, oh was my there, God, I'm out. Him. Let's find a different story. Him, but at that point, that was, scared, that was too much right there. That was the piece of wood. Oh, dear Lord. Show what you. are we doing with this? I watched the man get stabbed 30 times. Oh, shit. Hold on. It's back up. There's difference. A pointer is like an, uh, almost like a pencil. That can get it. A pencil will break. It's the cheap of wood. You are those are things, things you... you, you <laughs> are those are things for the Chips Ahoy? The ones that you close the... What is that? 
Hold up. No way. He said, we'll go in you. In fact, they're one of the worst weapons in prison because that's how they usually kill you. I watched the main stick 30 times. Oh, that's... And it's... <laughs> Slicing knives are very rare. They're there. And they're made usually with a locker, piece of a metal on the top of a locker, filed down, or actual stuff that's made in, in, in the shops in the uh, unicorn, what they call But I'm going to make a poker, because all of these weapons poker. that I'm showing you, I've personally made in, in prisons. So, obviously, we get a piece of wood. Now, the piece of wood, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, because I'm going to walk outside with it. This would be left on the what yard. What the hell keeps falling off of that wood? Yes, you can suitcase them, which we did. Shit all over his this damn desk. This is what now. you actually walk through the metal detectors with. You have a end of a toothbrush holder. You have uh, the whatever you're going to use as your poker that goes into your handle, you'd have in here. And then this goes in your in your rectum and you hide it in your rectum and you had to do that it's not being funny you had to do that because you had to get to three metal detectors now if you go through a metal detector and this is in your rectum with a piece of metal in it it's going to still go off but the officers don't know if you have People think that us in California, we think we're better than people. We don't. But when I see stuff like this, this is like, um, I think people made weapons like this in the 1800s, right? Um, I don't know when Larry um, did his time and when he paroled, but the toothpaste holder to carry flimsy pieces of whatever that shit was if you know it's something that can go off on a metal detector those of us in california know what to do in order to make it to where they won't go off and you won't have to keister or suitcase as he's calling it something that big when you have to you have to right but when you don't you don't and so um that, he said, is he knows it's going to go off in the metal detector, right? Us out here, we know, like I said, we know there's certain things you can use and there's certain things you can do to where it's not going to go off. But let me see what he's saying. He, he's saying the cops didn't know something. A fake knee from an operation, a bullet in you. So they shake you down, they'll split you, they'll even strip search you. Mm -hmm. Get out of clothes, Lawton. You get up, you lift, you lift your nuts, you turn around, you spread your thing. They can't find anything. It's in you. It's inserted in you. It's called soup. So wait, 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 wait. So wherever Larry did time, if you go to a metal detector and it goes off, well, you know what? It's I, I, I could see that. There's a lot of cops don't care. They don't want to do the paperwork. So yeah. Out here in California, if you went through a metal detector and it went off, they don't give a damn about what if you you might have a bullet or something. What they do secondarily is they're going to get a handheld wand. They're not going to wand your arm, your leg, your foot. They're going to tell you, bend over, they're going to wand your ass. And when it beeps, you're going to potty watch. You're going to get cuffed up, jumpsuit. Two pairs of boxers, one forward, one backwards. Then they're going to put a jumpsuit on you, one forward, one backwards, tape you all up, chain you. Your hands are chained to your waist. And you're going to sit there until you give them three shits. That's how it works in California. They ain't no, oh, maybe he has a bullet. Let him through. They're not going to do that. Cases. Now, this is what you would take back and forth because this is the most important part of the weapon. Now, the handle of the weapon you got from a lot of different objects, from the machine uh, shops, from down what uh, goal posts, things they'd make in, in uh, the recreation yard, broom handles, stuff of that nature. When you got this, you bored a hole, which I did already. You bore a hole, and you use a lot of different things to bore a hole. If you can get lucky and you get some from the guys, see, they have what they call CMS. It's CMS. Is there the guys That's a huge handle. Just pointed out. I want to see what he's 
Because, see, I, I earlier I saw the whole video, but I skipped around. I didn't see that he was going to use something like that. You can make a great handle, man, with. I'm not going to tell you how, but with paper and some saran wrap. You can make a handle that's going to work. Work for you very good. <sighs> this is a huge handle. To come around and fix things. <laughs> and the, uh, the lighting, the electricians. And they're always with a guard, but that uh, guard is not over. The guy can walk into yourself for two minutes, two seconds, and, and drill something quick for you. That happens all the time. It's quite common, in fact. Uh, or they take screws off of a door or something that we would need. And nobody would know, and if they were good, especially in, in penitentiaries where there's a lot of convicts, we all stick together. So you had this. Now you didn't want to go back and forth with this as well, because this with the sticker in it, obviously is going to be a longer, harder thing to carry. But this will save your life, because it saved my life. I was in a fight, and if I didn't have this weapon, this exact weapon, I'd probably be dead, and I wouldn't be on this YouTube channel talking to you. Mm. But I'm going to show you exactly how we did it. So now, let's go outside and I'm going to tell you how I did this and what I'm going to get. <laughs> now, it's important to understand this. It's nighttime. But if you work on the yard, like I did on East Yard, it gets dark early. So now, I would have to go through three metal detectors. Yes, you have the uh, shank suitcase. What you would do is you would have this. This is your handle. You would leave this on the yard. Now, this is going different places along the yard. You walk around paths, and there's always paths. You have this hidden. It's here, so you can't see it. Now, hold on. So, he, you leave your handle on the yard, but you're walking around with your, the metal inside of you? That sounds completely backwards to me. What the fuck? Oh, when the guards see. run metal detectors, uh -huh. they don't, they can't pick them because the guards understand that we're hiding stuff on the yard. So they're not looking. They're just running metal detectors up and down the, the paths. Well, they're not going to pick up wood. So I would be walking with a bunch of friends. I end up going, oh, like I'm tying my shoe. I pick up this and I have that. Now that's in my pocket. Oh, wow. You did that. The next thing I do, I'm, I'm walking with my friends. And we're just hanging out. We're all rapping and talking. And what do we do? If you stop down, your friends are surrounded. You say, hey, "I got." Well, hold on. And you actually do this. Look ah, what so I'm doing. Shoe unties a lot. I'm taking a shank out of my rectum right here. I'm taking it out. I pick it up and put it in my pocket. That's how you would take it. Now I'm gonna show you how we would get the things we put in the the things to poke. Come on. Okay, now. I worked the East Yard. Obviously, this fence is all over in the East Yard no way. in Atlanta. And I would have the pooper scooper. But guys would say, hey, look, can you get me one of the chain fence links? These are what they are. You look down here. You see this right here, everybody? These are here all over the place. You look at any fence you go to anywhere, even in your own house. So we would work these out like this. And I mean... <laughs> Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear his... <clears throat> you hear that? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> now, you would take these down, you bend them, you bend the other one, and you get them around. <clears throat> this is what I would be a total... Now, obviously... One, it's kind of flimsy, but this one It's right absolutely here. flimsy. You just right bent it with your hands you and have your fingers. This, and you can do it, you put it in here. And I'm going to bring it back into the office and show you how we make it from there. Let's go. Okay. So this is what you get when you get off. It's called the fence. It's, they have them. You see, and what people don't understand, this is not from an outside fence that you're getting. No, that's not what you're not getting to that outside fence in prison. They'll have double fences and barbed wire and constant turn wire, whatever they call it. Now, these can be not, they're not a steel, steel, hard steel. Absolutely not. I'm going to show you something. But they have it like this. So, you get multiple ones. 
Then you take them and you put them together. <laughs> He's twisting them. <laughs> Yeah, now, now, now explain this shit. It's a lot stronger. Oh, it's so strong. Twist revenge, another one, though. If you really love to kill someone, do three. That's what I do. That's what I do. You do it. You do it right. <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> Is this fool said? If you're gonna do it, do it right. Yeah, don't use something that you can bend with your fingers. <laughs> This is for educational purposes, as he said, obviously, because he's educating uh, he's educating you on how to lose a knife fight. <laughs> what is this shit? He's got some, oh, what, like, what is it, aluminum? Aluminum won't go off on the metal detector either. Um, ching, God, what is this guy making? And is that what they used to make his tattoos too? <laughs> Yes, I have strong hands because then when somebody said I had strong hands, I do. Now, when you take this in. Oh, my God. This would be, I would have this a little bit longer. And we always That's going to fold on you immediately. We always would get tape from different parts of the yard and stuff. Then I would do this. I'm going to show you. I don't want to do my own. Let me show you how what you do then. Oh, be careful, your Take fucking this. Inspector Gadget knife's right there. I might cut now, your hand you off. You made one of these that you didn't transfer back and forth to the yard. The handle is what is what you have to hide. But in the house, or we used to call it the house, in the prison itself, I had three different weapons I had. Three that I used to keep. Now, to do this a little better when I was getting really ambitious, I used to get glue. And put glue down in there. <laughs> like, like, uh, they'd have, That's like, when it was feeling ambitious. Glue. Not you wouldn't get mono glue. They had glue in certain parts of the, the uh, down in the arts department. Guys who had worked, they had a leather shop one, and they had a uh, uh, like you know painting and leather and stuff of like that. So you can get certain things like that. What the fuck? Now, I would make this. Listen, even if you had a piece of steel, you're not going to have it hanging that far out of the handle. Unless it's a wide flat, then you would. But what the f He bent it with one finger. I had so many. You get so good at it. You get so good. You see the next one I had. I'm not sure what you do with it. You're wasting the tape, big dog. I would make it pretty. Because that's just the way I was in trouble. So you would take this weapon. And I'll put it's not a weapon. Together when I'm done. And I'd have this. And I'd take this. And I'm going to show you what, where I would sharpen them. Now oh. come with me and check this out. So now you take your, 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 your shake. And you'd be on the yard all the day like this. See what I'm doing? On the yard? Okay, you can't even see what I'm doing. It's behind my arm right here. And you see guys doing this along with a couple of friends around them. And you see them doing this all day long with different stuff. We do it with uh, steel. With what the hell? So you can take a fence apart without the cops seeing it. And then you can just start make your knife and then, well, that's not a knife. You can make your toy, right? And then sharpen it. Well, damn, because they know that thing ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> anything and you see oh spots that literally had wore out concrete because the concrete is like a it's like a sharpener look at that i'm going to what demonstrate looking at? all of these weapons in a minute okay and the final weapon and again like i said i'm going to demonstrate these weapons all the kitchens in prison i was at never had steel Plastic. They had plastic knives. Watch what you can do with a plastic knife. You accumulate them. Everybody had these in their cells, and it was normal. 
you actually were allowed to have a set oh, and you this, sell some of fast it this shit. on the commissary. Dude, you will see how deadly these weapons can be. Oh, hell no. Now, as you can see. Oh, hell no. I am. You want it to be where it feels I didn't see this part. Now, as we all know with plastic, it burns and it melts. It literally melts. So what you do, so once you got fire. No way. There's no way he's gonna do this like this. There's no fucking way. This is going to harden. <laughs> And then you take this to that same concrete pit, which I'm going to show you. No way. And I'm going to show you what, you what happens then. So we're going to do the exact same thing here. Is this real life shit that they. No one man. No. Yeah. I, I, I don't ever want to go back to prison, but whatever state he was in, I'm going to have the baddest weapons ever because he melted the tip. Right, but everything inside that so-called handle is still the same plastic that snaps like that. Burning plastic, you can make a knife, a plastic knife out of plastic bags. You know how to do it. There's, you know, there's, there's techniques that you use and you can make something that will puncture somebody and hurt somebody. Again, you're going to go for areas where there's no clothing when you're dealing with plastic though. But it's it's a trip that he really do they really do that or is this and then he's gonna so called sharpen it on concrete in California there are times when plastic knives are utilized and it used to be that's what you would take to the hole because you knew uh, they wouldn't go off normally it was gonna be the light brown steak cups you would use they make really good pieces. And plexiglass. But I've never seen anybody that knew what they were doing sharpen their plastic on concrete. Concrete grinds plastic. There's another technique that you use. I'm not going to go into it. I highly doubt they use plastic pieces now. Um, and like I said, those were just mainly like, hey, you know, you get a good piece of plexiglass. You know, hook that thing up, take it to the back, to the hole, to the shoe, whatever. So you have a good throwaway with you. You know what I mean? But even there, you're gonna you're gonna have good weapons. But um, I've never seen anybody that knew what they were doing con uh, use concrete for plastic. Uh, I'm gonna see this. Let me get up. And go to the pit. Now this is another weapon. Is it? Weapon. You're gonna see what I mean when I demonstrate all three of these weapons. All right, now I have this weapon. Obviously, you don't think this is strong? No, I don't. I'm gonna demonstrate all three of these weapons right now, because this is the weapons that can save your life, and this is how. Uh, we used to call, of course, These are the weapons that'll get your ass hurt. MacGyver, and if you're young, if you don't know who MacGyver is, go check it out. All right, Nick, I need your help. Can you come here, Nick? I have all three of these weapons, the way I made them. Jeez. Okay? These are the weapons, everybody. Okay, people. The first <laughs> weapon I made was a razor comb. <laughs> Obviously, if you're fighting someone and you're doing this, you're like, you cut right there, see? Ooh. Look at the, you can see the cuts. Cut right there. Look at what he's doing. See if I can see that? No, no, no. no. Razor comb. Very yeah, dangerous yeah. weapon. To it's yourself. It's really not a killer weapon unless you hit across the throat. It's not going to cut but the arteries. It's not a weapon for killing. Uh, it was a defensive weapon to get people away from you. know, everybody's coming around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Next weapon I did. <laughs> now this weapon this on the yards literally saved my life because I had to take my weapon out. And 
Yeah, he looks like he's used it before. Double edge, thick, thick cardboard. That would go through your skin. Larry Lon, please, one time for the people. These same weapons that you made, but make them again on camera. And put a t-shirt over that. Or a jacket. Or something that's fabric over that box. Uh, and then let's see how your, <laughs> your razor knife, your razor comb works. And then your... Uh, I don't know what these things are. Your poker, your poker and your plastic. I mean, it's going to go into cardboard. It's, these are not, I don't know. That's what would happen to you with that weapon. Now, you think of three knives, how can they hurt you? These little plastic knives. Right through. Yeah, Nick. Here comes the music. We're out of here. Thank you for uh, the entertainment, Larry Lawton. No hate, big dog. Somebody asked me to review this. I reviewed it. Uh, I appreciate you, the message where you said people don't want to go to prison. And that if they do, you're going to help them. Um, I don't know if you helped them, big dog. But if everybody on that prison yard is running around with the same weapons, then everybody's on the same playing field. Um. That's my video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hit the like, share the video. If you didn't, let me know what you didn't like. Also, you guys, let me know other videos that you would like me to react to. Um, with that, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, right? I'm out.